Morning Harrison, firstly how are you finding your time at Carlisle United so far? I've enjoyed it, um, obviously the results haven't gone the way we wanted but um, I've enjoyed it, I think I've settled in well uh, but hopefully I can start getting the results now. Let's speak about your career so far, you came through the ranks of Sheffield United, how was that upbringing for you there? It was good yeah, it was good, I think they do it quite different at Sheffield, they start like getting you ready for a first team environment um, like from a young age, so yeah, you were all well. You went out on loan a few times, didn't you? You went to Kettering and Town, South End United, and then you had your first EFL loan at Barrow in 2022. How was that for your experience? No, good, good. Obviously, starting at Conference North and then going to the National League, it just it's different. It's different, um, and that obviously gives you all different experiences to help you going forward. And obviously at the start of this season you went out alone to Stevenage as well, didn't you? Didn't get as many appearances, but I'm sure that was just as important for your experience-wise. Yeah, obviously it didn't go as well as I thought it would have or I'd have liked it to. But I suppose you learn different things everywhere you go for all different experiences. So looking back on it now, probably the one the right move to take, but I learned something from it, so which is good. So early in January you made the move here. What made this the correct move for you? Just the way the club's going forward. Um, obviously, I played here last year and like I didn't enjoy it because obviously I got beat. But I just thought it looks a very good club. Um, obviously, the, I spoke to the gaffer. Um, I like the, the way he sets his teams up and everything. So it just seemed the perfect fit, really. Was it? Was there anything the gaffer said to you specifically that made it, you know, certain that this was the right one for you? Not, not specifically, no, just him speaking to me uh, about the club's direction and everything, and that, that's what I got sold on, really. Let's speak about your, your first month here. Within your first month at the club, you got player of the month, a few man of the matches in there as well. How do you assess your performances? Uh, I think I've done all right, but I've, the results haven't gone as well. I'd rather play bad, to be honest, and us pick up the win. So, obviously, I'm not really happy at the moment because we're not winning. So you're looking ahead to, to this weekend away at Bristol Rovers. How do you see that game going? Um, yeah, hopefully we can win. I think obviously Saturday were disappointing, very disappointing. But if you actually look at the game, like we actually started quite well. Uh, and if we score when we're on top, then it's a completely different game. But we just can't let what happened Saturday about like how the game just faded out and everything. So hopefully we've, we've had a good week's training so far. So hopefully we're going with the right attitude and pick up three points. Like you said, I think the start of both halves, we started quite strong, didn't we? So it's a case of just making that the full 90 minutes rather than the beginning of each half. Yeah, 100%. Like, when we were on top, we needed to score. And we didn't, which, if we do score, it might have been a different game, but it's still not acceptable, so we've just got to move on to Saturday. Obviously, we all know it's quite a tough spell at the moment. How important are the, are the fans in this period? Oh, massive. Like, obviously... We need, them, we need everything we can to help us, so if they can get behind us, it gives us that extra uh, push, so yeah. Thanks for your time. Cheers. Thank you.